Hey everybody and welcome to the vlog. Uh, I guess it's more of a vlog anyways. Welcome to the channel anyways. <laughs> so uh, as you all know that I'm Alex Radioactive. I am not doing very many videos in suit anymore. Mainly because I really just don't care uh, if people see my human face. And if I have been asked why am I wearing the sunglasses. It's a YouTuber trick. Uh, you know in every video that someone does a video where they're not wearing glasses you can watch your eyes dart all over the place and it's not because any one reason it's more because well it just happens and i'm guessing the video keeps going dark so and it's distracting so that's why i wear sunglasses it's not that they're hiding anything see nothing special um so today's video if you read the title anyways today's video is about uh, convention hotels and how to pick one best for you uh, so let's get into this so I'm just gonna explain my hotel that I used at Anthrocon this year out of all the are all of the other hotels and I traveled them all including the main con hotel I was there too the one I had was the best one in my opinion. I mean, there was one convention area where they didn't turn the AC down. Someone said it was like 80 degrees during the con, so that sucks. It really does. So not only are you dying from the heat outside, you're dying trying to get to your room. But my hotel for Anthrocon was Homeward Suites. It'll be my same hotel for next year as well. Uh, it's 10 minute walk for from my hotel to the convention center or a couple minutes if you take shuttle bus which they do have a shuttle but the reason why that's not the reason why I like Homeward Suites the reason why I like Homeward Suites is they provided breakfast every morning I mean a lot of hotels do do that and it's good that's something you always need to consider because a free meal is more money in your pocket for the convention and so check out free meals. Also, Thursday night when we flew in, they had happy hour going in. So free alcohol. And, you know, some of us first like alcohol. You know, they didn't have happy hour the whole weekend and all that stuff. So plus this, what I drink is not on happy hour, unfortunately. But really consider what your hotel has to offer you. So one, the hotel kept the temperature down. They provided us a free meal. They even provided us supper uh, Thursday and I think it was Friday night. They had a meal for us as well. They had a pool. You know, they had swimming. They had exercise and all that, which most hotels have exercise. A lot of them don't even have pools up there from what I was being told by everybody. I'm like, holy cow, my hotel has a pool. Well, another reason why I like Homework Suites is they provided grills outside. So if you wanted to cook your own meal outside, you could. And... For me, it's a good thing because I like to make my own food and save money when I go to cons. But like I said, it was a really nice patio. There will be photos coming up in a future video because I got a video coming from the hotel and everything. So when those videos get compiled and put in, we'll have those. We'll have the Anthrocon 2019 video put up hopefully soon. But I made a mistake and lost like 90% of my video footage I took from there because we were going to make like eight or nine videos. Well, now we got to make one because someone decided to record with in time loop, which was a whole bunch of photos. So I, we got like 12,000 photos and a lot of them are same thing. It's just, you just watch my hand just doing this when I'm in suit and all that, which is fine. We can, we're going to, we're going to scrap it re and make something out of it, but it's going to take some time. So bear with me on that. But when you're picking a hotel, you really need to look at all the pros and cons. Like Homeward Suites had a full kitchen. I had a full-size fridge in my room, a stovetop, a sink, a dishwasher, my own dishes, like they provide you dishes, a you know full height of bed as well as a regular bed, and a really nice walk-in shower, which I like walk-in showers. I don't like to have to step and worry about slipping and falling. So... Homeward Suites to me was the best hotel out of them all. I went to the Omni, had a really nice foyer or whatever, but their rooms were dated and their air sucked. Like I went to three different rooms in like in Omni and I wasn't too too impressed. I mean, I'm a fur sitter. I want it nice and cool. 
and like they had the their, each room you know they had their own temperature and they had it turned all the way down and just it wasn't cooling and it was like no this is not that good whereas my room we turned the ac down to like 62 65 ish i think somewhere in that range maybe it was a little bit like 68 but somewhere in that range and it was nice and cool like literally we we had myself and like six other people in there at, at one point and with all that body heat was not you know it was still maintaining the cool temperature so homeward suites out of all the hotels was my favorite uh the winston is a decent hotel i didn't have too much to complain about except for it's the main uh or weston winston it's either winston or weston you guys can make fun of me down in the comments i don't care but either way one of them to the main con hotel we'll just say that it, it was nice but there's one problem with main con hotel with every con and if you haven't figured it out it's getting up the elevator for me it's not a big deal because i'm first leader so first leaders always get high priority you know so we that line always moves quicker but for your average person you really need to consider do is the main con hotel worth it because unless i'm in a fursuit i'm gonna have to wait in line and even in a fursuit you may still wait in line a little bit everybody wants main con hotel because they think it's a closer walk well is that closer walk worth waiting 30 minutes of trying to get it into an elevator to go to your room whether you have to go to the bathroom or you're getting too hot in suit and you've got a deep suit so really think about that because for me the 10 minute walk and then there was one time i was in suit and they were they were pulling like it was all first suitors and one regular person all first suitors and one regular person in the elevators at one point and i still had to wait in line for like 20 minutes to go up you know to the fifth floor which i was like after 20 minutes i was like not even at the elevator so i ended up walking up the stairs in full suit because i didn't want to just wait any longer on the elevator that was going to take forever so remember this stuff when you're looking at hotels for cons uh there so there's all kinds of things you and for me, it's like, everybody's like, oh, the price is cheaper here than here. If you're worried about price at a con for a room, I understand that. I really do. Because, you know, I'm not no rich person. But I'd rather spend a few extra dollars and not buy anything at the con, you know, in Dealer's Den to have a hotel that is better for me. And let, just one second here, let me take care of all this, guys, because otherwise we're going to get 1,001 notifications. And I don't want that. So really think about all the different rooms you can get or all the different hotels around. And there's people that were even telling me they were staying in B&Bs that were just like 20, 30 minute drives away. They're like, well, we have to pay for parking anyway, so why not stay in a B&B that's all to ourselves? So there's always those, you know, Airbnb, they have, you know, where you can rent a room where there's other people in the house. Then there's some where you actually rent the whole house. And sometimes that's cost effective uh here in my hometown there's a person that's got an airbnb that rents for 105 dollars a night and everybody's like oh that's a lot of money you know but that's a full house you're you got privacy there's no you're not going to be listening to the people in the next room having sex or have to worry about loud people the worst thing you got to worry about is loud exhaust coming down the road but the local hotel is $120 a night. The only thing you get at that hotel that you don't get at a b, &B this B&B, &B, is breakfast and a pool. Okay, well, I can do without swimming and breakfast if, you know, privacy. So there's all kinds of things to think about. But if you're going to Anthrocon next year, I highly recommend Homeward Suites if you can get a room there. I shouldn't say that because that's more people that will be trying to get that hotel and, you know, less chance of me getting it. But, you know, fair game for anybody. And I just wanted to make it a honest video. And I'm sorry if I look sweaty and disgusting. I just got done doing yard work, mowing and weed eating and all that fun stuff. And that's, yeah. Uh, so, when you're really going to a hotel, not always is Main Con Hotel the best idea. Like, let's talk about MFF. Everybody wants Main Con Hotel at MFF. I stayed in Maine Con last year, and the year before that, I stayed in, I think it was 
the Hampton or Hilton or something like that. It was straight across. I know it was kind of catty corner, but straight across from the Hyatt and right across from the convention center. So let's talk about this situation. I stayed in MainCon. Okay. I am volu- you know, I'm a volunteer for MFS, so like where the department I work for is it based out of the main con hotel. Anyway, so for that aspect it was easier for me. But when I was going to the convention as a con goer, when I was off shift and having fun, I would go to the convention center. Okay, well in order to get to the convention center, there was two ways. And now as we all know, last year it rained and was kinda of yucky, so we didn't want to walk in our fursuits across. So, taking the skywalk or walk straight across. Okay, well, the Hyatt, walking straight across is okay, as well as the hotel I stayed in. I, I think it was the, I want to say it was the Hilton, but I'm not for sure. I'll have to ask uh, Frisky, because it was actually their room. I stayed with them a couple nights, and then I actually stayed up with some other friends at another hotel. But, anyways, uh, so... Either one of those two hotels, you can walk across the street and get to the convention center, which is direct route. However, if the weather is bad, you have to take the skywalk. And we all know how bad that skywalk is. It's either really cold if you're not in suit or really burning hot if you're, you know, even if you're not in suit or you're, it's like an oven if you are in suit, like literally to kill you sometimes. But going to the convention center from the Hyatt or main con hotel takes you a lot longer than going from the Hilton or whatever, which is a straight across. So, you know, there's a, there's a pros and cons to every hotel. But really look at all those. That would be my only advice that I can really give you guys is really look at what you want. So for Anthrocon 2020, when I go, and yes, I will be going back to Anthrocon 2020. There is no ands, ifs, or buts or about it. I will be going back. I've already got things in motion to make that trip happen next year not only am i going next year for sure i'm 100 percent what hotel i want and that's homeward suites i know everybody else wants the main con and they want this and this one and this one and you know what you want the frou-frou close to the hotel have it i will not fight you guys for it hell if i get a room for one by accident i will more than likely just say no i don't want this because you can't give me it i like homeward suites the staff are wonderful. Uh, the perks are wonderful. It, the only thing down, the only downside about Homeward Suites that we stayed in, I had one issue, and that was the wet towel in the hide bed. Now the you know hotel rectified that very quickly. It was no not a big issue. So that being said, no big foul because you know it, we all we're all human. We make mistakes. And if that's my only complaint, I'm sorry. I had way more complaints about hotels I didn't even stay in. Uh, the only other thing, you know, I have no complaints about that. So that's what the hotel I'll be staying in next year for sure. Uh, as long as I can get a room there, which since the dates are already in, I may talk to them because I don't book through Con Hotel. I get discounts through other things that are better than the Con discount anyway, so... Hopefully, they'll let me go ahead and book here soon. I don't know if they actually will or not because they are with the convention. But if they are, if that is the thing, that's fine too. I can wait until, you know, Hotel Block opens for it. Now, as I said before, I will be having a big surprise thing next year at Anthrocon. My husband will be coming with me and... I, have, I will be there for two weeks. I'm not going just for the con. There's some other stuff going on. We're going to stay in Pittsburgh, but we are planning on going to Niagara Falls while we're up there. And we're going to have a kind of a, make another trip. You know, it'll be a double vacation. But there's something big we have, we, we have in the works for Anthrocon. And for those that have been following me for a while, here's the big hint that's going to give it away. What we have planned for Anthrocon is something we had planned for MFF that may or may not have happened this year at MFF or possibly next year that we were planning it for MFF. Now, a lot of people are automatically assuming that we're getting married at Anthrocon. That may or may not be true, but I can honestly say that's not the big surprise. 
most likely we're going to be getting married at MFF 2019. Now, it's, now, I say that we're not getting married at the con because I've already talked to the con and they said, no, we don't do weddings at the con because if we allowed it for you, we'd have to do it for everybody else and then it would just be a big mess. So, yes, there's a good chance we're getting married at MFF 2019. Now, when I say that, we are getting married off site. Like, it, it's not even at MFF, it's during MFF. We're going to go off site, get married, and so that way some close friends, because I we're not going to do a big wedding. We're just going to have a few close friends come and, you know, that'll be it. So, but Anthrocon 2020, we do have a big plan that we're going to invite all of our friends and all, any furry that wants to come and join us in something that's going to be very big in me and my husband's life. Uh... We're going to invite y'all to it. So, obviously, you'll have to pay for your own stuff if, you know, we go and get drinks afterwards. But coming to what we're doing will be free. Uh, now, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen. I hope you guys do, too. Please keep staying with the channel. I know our videos are kind of boring because I'm sitting here talking in front of a camera. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this now. But, no, seriously, uh... And I do apologize it keeps getting dark and then light. That's probably the light ahead. I will rectify that soon. But that's where we're at. Have a wonderful day, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, collars. We do have fursuit collars. These are not dog collars. These are fursuit. They're soft. They will not hurt your fursuit. So don't expect a collar that you can put a whole bunch of chains and padlocks like I've seen someone do at Androgon on. So if you are interested in a fursuit collar, hit me up. We can right now we are we haven't got them in or in stock yet. We do have a order of them, and we are only taking thirty orders. Now, when you hit me up, I'll give you all the details. But the average collar will be thirty bucks. And just one second, I got one right here. To show you. Now they all won't be they won't all be themed this, but because you know we gotta have some variety. But here's one of the collars. It's a Paw Patrol collar. They're soft, they're good for your uh fursuit. They're thirty dollars, and if you're not going to a con that I'm going to, then it'll be plus shipping. But if you're like one the person who actually bought this collar, I will be meeting next month at Indie Furcon. I told him I said if you can wait a month, I'll save you a shipping. Shipping fee, I'll bring the collar with me and just give it to you personally. So that way he gets his collar and not have to pay any shipping. Because you know that's always wonderful. Also, two more quick updates. As you guys know, this is our office slash uh, cub room that we're still under construction because we're moving some stuff out because we still got to get the crib and stuff in here. But we have a Alex... I just washed my suit, so it's hanging up there for cleaning. And then we have our little, some arts and badges and stuff from some cons. That there. And yes, the room is still in this. But as you see, the first suit got washed. He's all dried out now. And as everybody keeps saying, he's doing a T pose, whatever that is. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm old. I don't care about the T pose and. I don't care about the dab and all that bull crap, but you know, do whatever. Uh, yes, I have two sets of paws for Alex. I have my four digits that I'm still getting used to using. Yeah, I don't like four digits. And then I have my five digits. I, I, I thought I would like the four digits. It's just, I got two sets of four digits and they're both really cute sets, but I just can't stand doing it. So my five digits are actually finally ready to be replace this is the better one we had a little bit of a accident up there at anthrocon where one got ripped luckily there was somebody that was able to sew it patch it make it somewhat usable but yeah they're they're clean as well they just they just finished drying a little bit ago and i brought them back in here because i got to get everything ready for indie furcon also so my patreon i want to tell you guys all thank you and i know I, this video is going longer than i wanted to but I do want to say thank you again to all my Patreon subscribers. There is a new tier. It's even, even though it's always been there, there's an actual tier that has a perk to it. 
that is the top tier, which I think it's $100. And what that is, it's one year free Patreon. Well, it's not free because you're paying $100 for it. But basically, it's a one-year annual Patreon. If you pay $100, you get that Patreon for one year. And those are only being limited to, I think we said five people, maybe ten at this point. Basically, we're still trying to figure all of it out. If you want to join my Patreon, please do. Uh, it helps the channel, helps me do giveaways for you guys. But I think we're doing five, maybe more. We're going to let at that top tier because I have a lot of people that are doing like the $20 and $10 tier. Because not all my Patreons pay me through Patreon because some of them don't like using that app. They like to use PayPal, which is fine. You know, just make sure you remind me if you want to do that. So that way I can keep, I can put you down in my book. So that way each, every time I upload a video, I can notify you how we agreed to get that stuff to you. But at the hundred dollar level, we are doing a basic, uh, you get for one year. That's like a one year subscription. And you basically you get everything in the whole thing. So if you're a $50, I have one person that pays me through PayPal, no names being mentioned, that's a $50 Patreon, which is awesome, but that person uh, is at the top tier. So now that person can pay $100 and literally get everything that I offer for an entire year, and they're only paying basically two months of what they've been paying now. So I decided to do that. I don't know, how, like I said, we'll see how well it does. Uh, Tomorrow, I'm actually updating the Patreon, and what I mean by updating, it'll be more clear to read because I know I keep saying I was going to do it before, and I never got around to it because we had his job change, and I had a lot of other stuff going on. So now it's officially going to be done, and that will be worded in there, and we're going to lower some prices and raise some prices on other things. If you're already a Patreon, that doesn't affect you, though. The raise price things are things that aren't even on there yet. But I had talked about it before, and I was going to do them at one price, but we can't do that because I would be losing money. And I'm not rich, you're not rich, so I can't lose money, you can't lose money. So, makes sense. So have a wonderful day, guys, and we will talk to you tomorrow in another upload.